Winter is here, commanders. In the battles of the Ardennes Offensive, which you love so much, many of you missed the frost and felt that there's not enough snow. In this update, we're going to remedy that and present you a new part of the Ardennes in a winter setting. As you well know, commanders, the famous Battle of the Bulge began in December 1944, and one of the German command's trump cards was the unfavorable weather, snowstorms, and heavy cloud cover that minimized the Allied air superiority. Our designers and artists have taken this into account and prepared a completely new area, full of interesting details and, of course, full of snow. The new mountain pass area is surrounded by mountains and hills, featuring a small town next to the river, a railway junction, a factory outside the town, and many open spaces, including a picturesque lake and an equally scenic gorge along the snow-covered country road. The map is designed to give you the opportunity to test your skills in different types of combat, both in urban and rural settings. It also has something for the masters of close combat, such as trenches covered with concrete slabs, all to make the experience more exciting. And now, commanders, pay attention. Let us introduce you to the main protagonists of the update, the guerrillas. In our 2024 roadmap, we promised a new class of soldiers, and this new class will be the iconic fighters of irregular military forces, whose effective actions behind enemy lines significantly helped their regular armies. The game now features guerrillas fighting on the side of the Red Army, as well as similar units in terms of structure and purpose from other armies. For example, German Volkssturm units, established in the last months of the war in a desperate attempt to counter the advancing forces of the Allies. And of course we haven't forgotten the French resistance fighters either. This update marks the first time that a French squad will appear in the game, and they will be available in an upcoming Reinforcements Received event after the update's release. What will Enlisted's guerrillas be capable of? First and foremost, their method of warfare is a little different from what you're already used to. This means that guerrilla squads can enter the enemy's battle area without any penalties, thus attacking the enemy from unexpected positions. Another feature of the new class is the ability to carry more TNT charges to destroy enemy vehicles, communications, and personnel. As you know, commanders, TNT and skilled hands can turn the tide of any battle. Finally, the third notable bonus of guerrillas is their ability to handle captured weapons. More specifically, whenever they pick up a weapon from the battlefield, it will come with full ammunition. Additionally, some guerrilla squads have captured weapons from the start, which they can restock from enemy ammo boxes. We continue to work on making Enlisted's vehicles look more detailed, interesting, and realistic. To supplement the recently released update that refined the mechanics of the tracks left by vehicles, we've now added more details to the suspension systems of tracked and wheeled vehicles, as well as physics to the tracks themselves. Take a look and see for yourself. Your favorite machines now move much more realistically and beautifully. And these are not all the pleasant surprises that the Guerrilla Warfare update has to offer. New ground vehicles, attack aircraft, and several other improvements are waiting for you. Remember, winter is here. See you in battle, commanders.